Ageism refers to the discrimination towards others based on age. In a workplace context, ageism tends to affect primarily older workers, mostly because there are persisting myths such as, for example, the fact that the health of aging workers is insufficient, productivity decreases with age and the employment of aging workers reduces job opportunities for younger workers. In this video we present you with the main characteristics and skills that define a good mentor and mentee, which are the main mentoring techniques and what is the importance of having an e-portfolio of employees to build a positive attitude towards intergenerational learning and reverse mentoring in a workplace context. So, which are the main characteristics and skills that define a good mentor and mentee? A good mentor is usually someone who can develop capabilities, inspire, provide effective questioning and corrective feedback, manage risks, and open doors, while a good mentee usually has the ability of acquiring mentors, active learning, initiative taking, follow through and managing the relationship with the mentor. Both should be active listeners to better communicate with each other. Any company that wants to have a clear picture of their employees' knowledge, strengths and weaknesses might consider developing an e-portfolio. An e-portfolio is a digital collection of employees' biographical information, including resumes, competences, soft and hard skills, degrees, work samples, and accomplishments. It helps companies understand employee knowledge, strengths, and weaknesses, supporting professional development and competence management. A well-structured e-portfolio also facilitates collaboration, identifies development opportunities, and areas for improvement. It can be used to match mentors and mentees, promoting intergenerational relations and reverse mentoring in the workplace. Overall, e-portfolios benefit both employees and companies in enhancing skills and fostering growth. Once a company has identified its mentors and mentees through the e-portfolio, there are four techniques available so that a good intergenerational mentoring relationship takes form. Our build rapport, a process of establishing a connection at the beginning of the mentoring relationship. B. Setting goals, the mentor's ability to support the mentee setting objectives and attaining goals. C. Effective and active listening, a technique in which the listener must fully concentrate to understand, respond and remember what is being said. D. And effective questioning, the ability to make the right questions at the right moment. Overall, the power of a good e-portfolio for any company comes from the understanding of the main characteristics and skills of a mentor and mentee, and the identification of those characteristics and skills in the company's employees. Furthermore, a good e-portfolio can also be an effective tool to promote intergenerational learning and support the building of a positive attitude among employees towards reverse mentoring since, in the end, they will be able to identify knowledge gaps and mentoring opportunities for all generations employees. Congratulations for reaching the end of this video on intergenerational relationships. You can learn more about this topic by completing the rest of the infographics. Thanks for watching.